Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Today I'm going to show you how to export results with two different stages that often come out as different rows. Maybe you want them as different columns. So for example, I'm going to show you an example with a by probit. It's going to work the same way for a heck probit or really any other regression result that stores as multiple stages as multiple rows. So let's go ahead and get into it. This video is based off of a comment from Paul Silva. So thank you, Paul. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm going to use the by probit example. So I've got the code here. I'll post it in the description below if that would be useful. And so let's go ahead and just go ahead and run this. You can see we've got this by probit results. And if I go ahead and just do an S tab, I'm not going to output it right now just to show you what it looks like. You can see that what we've got is we've got these three different models. And again, we've got private and vote as different rows in the same column. Maybe we want those as different columns. I've got this at row thing, which I don't really want either. And so let's go ahead and see if we can make this output a little cleaner. So first, what I'm going to do in order to go from these rows to columns, I'm going to say unstack. This is very similar to what we did when we use summary stats by group. Just as a reminder, if you're interested in that video, I'll go ahead and put that in the top right right about now. But I've got this unstack and I want to drop this regression with the backslash. Maybe you want it. I don't really want it. So let's try this again. And when I run it again, I'm going to go ahead and make this semicolon right here. And so when I run this again, what you're going to see is now we've got it nice and in different rows. We sort of got these titles lined up. They need a little work. We need a little work on the coefficient legends, but roughly this is going to work pretty well. And so now if I just go down in my code and I will turn to some of these fancier options, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to give it groups. Now, one thing to note when you do M groups, you actually want the pattern to be just one, 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 because it's thinking about this as the first column. This is the second column. This is the third column just works better. So again, these are just going to be some of the basic options that we've used before. So I'll go ahead and I'll run this and I'll make sure it goes out into my LaTeX file. And we'll go ahead and we'll pull up Overleaf and you can see that this is the table that I've got right here. And I'll try to zoom in a little bit and you can see that it's all nice. We've got model one, model two, and model three. We do have a little bit of work to do on the titles. You might have to do that just manually in LaTeX, but that's not that bad. The one thing you'll notice is that these notes are short and this table is super, super long. That's something we need to fix. And in fact, that's an issue that comes up for a number of different tables. And so I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. So if this video is helpful or you're looking forward to the next video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time for another case of Econ Struggles.